Day four in the murder trial of a man accused of killing a Broadwater County deputy in 2017 wrapped up in Butte. MTN's John Amy was in the courtroom and has the latest. Dramatic testimony in Butte on the fourth day of Lloyd Barris's deliberate homicide trial in which police testified about a pursuit involving high speeds and gunfire. Butte police officer Timothy Berger was in hot pursuit of a vehicle whose occupants were suspected in the murder of a Broadwater County Sheriff's deputy in 2017. The officers started taking gunfire from the fleeing vehicle as they were traveling more than 100 miles per hour on Interstate 90. A bullet penetrated the hood and disabled the patrol car. The gunfire from the fleeing vehicle also disabled a patrol car of Berger's fellow officer, Rich O'Brien. He testified he didn't realize how close to death he'd come until afterward. Uh, in the moment, I really didn't feel much of anything. It was more of you're caught up in the chase and the adrenaline was going. Uh, afterwards, after I had a chance to talk with Richie, told him to call his wife. Because <laughs> uh, sorry. Because I told him she didn't want to find out on. Facebook. Butte police officers, along with other officers, would eventually have a shootout with Lloyd Barris and his son Marshall on the interstate in Missoula County. Lloyd Barris would be taken into custody and Marshall would later die from gunshot wounds. Lloyd Barris faces a felony charge of deliberate homicide by accountability in the May 16, 2017 shooting death of Broadwater County Deputy Mason Moore. He also faces two counts of attempted deliberate homicide in connection with his alleged role in shooting the pursuing officers. Berger believes the driver assisted the gunman in trying to kill him. The driver was not making any maneuvers to throw off the person shooting. He wasn't jerking the wheel, he wasn't swerving, he was just going nice and easy, helping the shooter get a better stick picture on the 